Morning guys, so today I'm going to show you my glazing day. So today I'm testing mainly, mainly testers, um, so these are all the glazes I already have. I just wanted to do one big run of all of the glazes that I formulated in the kiln because I was having a few problems with it over and then under firing. So I think I know what temperature I should set it at. Yeah, so I wanted to do one big run of all of my glazes on some testers just to make sure the colours are as I expect them to be. And it also gives me like a nice reference of basically all the glazes I have so I can when I come to glaze my things I can just see them all in a row and decide what colours to glaze my pots and I also have some mugs I'm gonna do some initial mugs and more free just like pouring the glaze on to get like, like a nice effect kind of mugs and I also have these cute little ring holders that I sh do have a video going up soon or has been up about how I make those um, so I'll just show you that now so these are all my testers. I have two clays, so this is a lighter flecked clay and then this is a darker speckled clay. And I also have these mugs, so this is the darker clay and these will be initial mugs, so personalised mugs. And then also I have some of in the lighter clay that I'll just pour on the glaze to see if I can get some nice effects. And these are the ring holders, so these are little like Kuranuki ring holders to look like mountains. Um, oh, it's very sunny today, sorry. Yeah, to look like mountains, I thought they were like quite cute and I filmed how I make these, so that should be up soon. And I've also been just organising my glaze area, so I just keep all of my buckets of glaze on this shelf outside and I have this plastic um, kind of cover to protect it when it's raining um, and then I just actually leave these outside and when it because because the lid's on and they're made of plastic um, they don't get any water in them when it rains and then I just keep all of my glaze stuff in this box that I use when I'm glazing and I usually glaze just on this table I have um, and I use a hand blender to mix up my glazes which I run the cable from the house um, so yeah Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get on and do that now. I first step is to wax. Um, first step is to underglaze my maker's mark. So, yes, yeah, so I recently got this new maker's mark, um, which has my logo on it, and I just want to underglaze it black so it just shows up once the pot's fired. So I'm going to first do that, and I'll prop you up so you can just see me doing that. So I'm just going to test, um, so I'm just going to glaze all those testers now and also the little ring holders. I'll just prop you up in front of me just so you can see me doing that. And then, um, and then I'll come and show you how I make the little personalised mugs of the initial. I wax, I kind of um, paint wax resist on where the initial is so that there's no glaze that can adhere to that and so when I fire it um, you can see the raw clay which becomes the letter and then the glaze is kind of surrounding it which I think looks really nice so I'll show you that when I finish glazing all of these testers it's actually started to rain a little bit so I've put all of my bisque in here just so it doesn't get wet because obviously you want your bisque to be as dry as possible before you start glazing it. So I'm gonna glaze all of these and then also the white ones and then I'll show you how I 
add the letter onto these mugs. Okay, so I've just finished glazing those tester tiles of all the glazes I have. Um, so here they, are, here they are. I love how the glazes look all kind of together. You can see like all the different pastel colours. <laughs> kind of wish they stayed this colour in a way. Like this pastel green I really love. And then also some of those um, ring holders, those Kuranuki ring holders. So I just did a selection of glazes on those as well. So now I'm going to so, um, so now I'm just gonna glaze up all those mugs. Um, I'm gonna first put the wax resist letter on them. So I'll show you how I do that now. So yeah, so I've finished doing all of the initials on the mugs, I'll just show you. And so I'll just glaze those now. I just do a white glaze inside and then on the outside I'm going to do a blue, a green, a white and like an opalescent kind of glaze. So yeah, I think I'll prop you up again and just show you how I glaze those again. Um, just how the wax resist works so it kind of repels the glaze so that you can see the letter and I'll just clean those up as well. So yeah, I'll show you that now.
So I just finished glazing everything. I'll show you. So these are the initial mugs and also just some more other types of mugs and then all of my testers. And I'm just going to load them all into the kiln now. And here I'm going to ask the Harry Potter to help me out. So I have a, this is the Rhoda 43 litre kiln and it actually just plugs straight into the main so you don't need it wired in. So it's the biggest kiln that can do that which is why I got it. And I think I'm going to put the mugs on the bottom and I'm just going to put the kiln furniture in. Um, this is obviously above the height of the mugs. The kiln has to be 25 centimetres away from each of the sides, so it just literally fits in this space. So just when it's firing, I just remove everything from the outside. So I'm going to put the mugs in the bottom. So the only thing to note when you're doing mugs is just to pop the handle towards the inside so they're not directly next to the elements. It just is a bit safer so that it doesn't compromise your kind of the attachment of your handle. Morning. <laughs> so the kiln's fired and it's finished just now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
So these are the ring cones I was making. And I really like this one. It looks like kind of snowy ice on the mountain. And then also this one, this is one of my favorite glazes. I love how it like is a floating blue, but it kind of goes into um, green at the bottom and also lots of brown. I really like how it breaks over the texture. So I'm super happy with those. And I did all of my testers. So these are basically, this is basically all of the glazes I have. And I did it on two different, two different um, clays. So like this one, for example, they kind of behave quite differently. So maybe I'll show you. I really love this one. It's a new, kind of a new glaze, but it looks obviously much lighter on this one, but the darker clay I think is prettier. It looks more earthy. And I also, so these are two different clays. And then on the back, I paint on another clay. So this is porcelain and this is just another clay I use on the back just so I get to see four different clays and two test tiles. Yeah, this is my favorite. This is one of the glazes I'm gonna use in the cork collection. I love this one. It's a blue that kind of, yeah, bright. it's the same one that was on the mountain. So it breaks into the greeny brown color. And then this orange is really pretty. It's kind of an orange and it has like purple and then blues and lots of different types of colors in it. So I'll just unload these and show you the initial mugs. Another one bites the dust. So this is one of the initial mugs and um, this turned out really nicely. I love how the clay goes toasty um, around the edges of the glaze. It goes like more orange. And it's kind of, you know, dripped inside as well, which I think looks nice. And I love how it breaks um, brown on the rim. It's a comfy handle as well. Yeah, so those are the initial mugs. Um, one. This is the white. It dropped in the A a bit, but I don't know. I don't like that. I don't mind that. I just like this is one of the main whites I use. I really love how it pulls like the iron speckles um, in the clay down. It just gives it like lots of interest. So I'm happy with those. And then I did a little bit of experiment with um, mixing up the glazes, so kind of pouring them on, which half succeeded. So I poured on a few different of my glazes, like a green, a blue, and um, kind of here is an opal one. So it looks nice in areas, but I don't know, like I quite like this side. Don't know if I'd keep it though. I think I have to test this one a bit more, like the application. So we'll see. But yeah, so that's it for this bit. I hope you enjoyed my glazing day and um, got to see some results as well. So um, I'll leave it here, guys. I um, hope you guys have a great day. Okay, in a bit. Bye.